Hi, I'm Quantic Dev, and this is the case study of Stripe, a startup company that was recently valued 35 billion US dollars in just eight years in existence. Now let's have a look at how a tech startup reaches tens of billions in valuation in such a short time in business. First off, what is Stripe? Stripe is a payment processor. If you want to accept credit card payments online, you go ahead and implement their APIs. As simple as that. What makes Stripe successful is the fact that it is one of the few Silicon Valley companies that are successful in providing services that are of real value and are of immediate need. In addition, they offer upfront pricing, which is really important in enterprise business models. You need to know your costs before committing to a service. Implementing Stripe APIs to accept payments is a major investment, and you, you might not be able to change it in the near future. And most importantly, they don't try to rip off people like other enterprise software try to do. For instance, they don't apply bait and switch techniques. If you're an enterprise company, do not rip your customers. When people working for those companies move on to new jobs, they will take their grudge with them. Now, why is Stripe a startup company? I said that it was created eight years ago. So how does it qualify as a startup? Nowadays, we qualify any pre-IPO tech company as a startup, which basically means they didn't go public and cash out yet, which means their investors, their managers, and their founders are holding on all of the value and liability of that company. Once that value and the liability is distributed to the public, it stops being a startup and becomes a big enterprise company. And what is Stripe's market? Well, obviously other developers who want to sell stuff. But I would say their biggest customers are the enterprises which are starting to sell things online or are switching from another payment processor. What is the business model? It is simple. They take a cut from the payments that are being done through their APIs. Last time I checked, this cut varied from 2% to 5% based on your location and your risk assessment. Although I'm pretty sure if you're a big customer, you'll get a lucrative deal out of them. You'll ask, there are a million payment processors, so why are they so successful amongst them? I also use Stripe at the moment for my personal projects, and I would say their number one strength is their excellent product, and the breadth and features that come with that product. Their payment APIs cover pretty much any scenario, be it the US, Asia, or Europe, they got you covered. During my last two years, of Stripe API usage, the 3D secure payments through European banks became pretty much the standard. And when it finally became mandatory, the Stripe was ready. When it was time for Stripe to scale worldwide, they managed to do it, where many other startups fail at that stage. On top of that, their API implementation, the SDKs, and the documentation are top-notch. Remember what Steve Ballmer had to say about developers? Developers, 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 developers. In my personal experience, their React SDK is top notch. It enabled me to build my payment widget right into my website in pretty much no time. In addition, the REST APIs seems to be created by people who know what they are doing. In comparison, their competitors seem to have patched up APIs. They probably have the best API that I've ever used in any web service of any kind. Warning, their APIs are pretty low level. It gives you full control over the payment processing, but it requires consideration. If you don't care about the mechanics of the payment processing and just want to accept the payments, use PayPal or Shopify and be done with it. Now, if you like Stripe's API documentation and want to apply the same style to your own APIs, I have some recommendations for you. I have some links in the description below Go ahead and check those projects. They will help you a lot in creating nice and well-crafted API documentations. Versioning. Stripe APIs have pretty good versioning. I implemented Stripe APIs two years ago. And during that, the API versions were incremented several times, but I never updated to them. And yet, my payment page still works. Not only do they do versioning in their APIs, but they have pretty strong backwards compatibility, which is essential once you implement your payment page, 
that becomes the core of your business. So you don't want it to be breaking at any time. They have excellent customer support. The mails that I received from them and my communications with them have been clear and concise and right on to the point. In addition to that, they engage with the online community on a higher level. I have two Hacker News links in the description down below. First one is about the Stripe's recent 35 billion valuation and their co-founder replies to the comments in a pretty good manner. And the second one is from 2011, again from the same co-founder and again replying to people on Hacker News. And it's pretty amazing to see actually. Now according to my research in Hacker News and in Glassdoors, they seem to be providing a pretty good workplace for their developers. Where the developers are happy, they create good products. Another warning, they are pretty picky when it comes to risky businesses. Even if you want to use Stripe APIs, you might get rejected. In addition, they don't seem to be available in countries where they deem the business to be risky. Now, all these criteria make a company successful, but the investors are looking for one key metric, which is growth. Stagnation will kill many of the startup companies and only the ones that continue to grow will be the radar of investors. What can you learn from the success? First, find a product idea that industry needs and people will love. Second, favor quality above all else. Less is more. If you have competitors, you need to be better than them. Three, be persistent. Eight years is a short time in business, but it's a lot of time for a human life. No matter if you have ups or downs, Keep persisting, keep hammering. When it comes to success, persistence is the key. Every successful person will repeat the same thing. You will have ups and downs. Just keep going. Also, be clear and concise about your business model and pricing. Don't ever do shady stuff to milk your customers. You need to keep existing customers happy. For that, you need to do good customer support, fast response times, and obviously, timely improvements and bug fixes. Favor engineering excellence over marketing. You can do marketing at any point in the product cycle. However, once you lose the quality, it's pretty hard to recover. You also need to engage with the customers and the community in conferences, online, any opportunity you get. They will provide you with invaluable feedback, which you can later apply to your product. If you must, handpick your first bunch of customers, provide them with discounted, or even free products. Those initial bunch of customers will help you create good use case documents and will provide good testimonies. And not only that, they will refer you to future customers. Overall, it's a good idea to invest your efforts into an industry that's growing so you can grow with it. Obviously, it doesn't have to be online payment processing or social media, just do whatever you are best at. If you become an employer, give your employees Massive incentives, so they will put 100%. If the employee's success means the company's success, they will put their heart out. A great way to ensure this is to give a part of the business to your employees through shares, share options, or as management positions. If you have your own business, or on the way to creating one, I wish you good luck in being the next Stripe. I hope my analysis and advice helps you, and I will keep you updated with future analysis case studies. If you want to see more of my case studies, check the channel's case studies playlist. If you like this case study, give it a thumbs up so I'll create more analysis like this. And finally, if you love the channel, give it a sub. And that is a 35 billion wrap for this video. See you in 8 years. Nope, never mind. I'll see you now.